If you haven't seen her on the hit Disney Channel series Shake It Up, you probably saw her. Zendaya, the multi-talented actress and singer, graced the dance floor on season 16 of Dancing with the Stars. After taking second place in Tuesday night's finale, the Disney star is keeping the momentum going with a new book for teens. And she joins us now to tell us all about it. It's great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Are you still riding the, the momentum wave? I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, it's it's been an incredible experience. I mean, I've learned so much from being on Dancing with the Stars, and I feel like, you know, it just gave me another platform to do what I love to do and to kind of just share my, my art and, and talent with people, and that's really all I want to do. We learned so much from you watching, I and mean, you're so talented. You're clearly an amazing dancer. What did you learn from your experience on the show? Um, I mean, I learned about hard work, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I know a little bit of what hard work is, but it was definitely at a new level. And I learned more, and I feel like I've grown as not only a dancer, but as a human, you know what I'm saying? I know how to deal with pressure, and, and I mean, every Monday is like the most stressful day of the entire week. You know, you're a live show, millions of people watching, you're doing choreography that's really difficult to, you know, a dance style that you've never done before, and it's just like, you know, a lot going on. So now I feel like now that I've done that, I can handle anything. No, no. absolutely. <laughs> I mean, when I watch the show, I'm like, I don't know how people are able to do this. I mean, just the nerves themselves seem to be overwhelming. What was the most challenging experience for you on the show was it learning new dance moves um I don't I mean I think for me it's I'm a perfectionist and Val my partner is also a perfectionist you know so we really clicked in that kind of way and I feel like we didn't want to just put on performances and we didn't ever want to give half of ourselves we gave hundred and fifty percent every time even when I knocked him out and gave him stitches he was still working hard and pushing himself and I think that was that's an amazing thing to see as a young you know a young lady to see someone who's working so hard and it, it, that's why I have like you know, he's a good role model, a good person to look up to. And it seemed that way. We actually have a clip for those who didn't watch the show. Let's take a look at the season finale. Kelly and Derek. Zendaya and Val. The winners and new champions of Dancing with the Stars are... You look nervous all over again watching that. What was going through your mind at that moment? You know, at that moment, I was just, I don't even know. I was just really in the moment, like literally in the moment. You know, there's so much going on. And I just did the best I possibly could do. And I, I never once wanted, like I was saying, I didn't want to ever give a half performance or give something that was just okay. I wanted every week to give people strong performances and hopefully, you know, that's what people took away from that. And, and you always you know, did. I mean, from day one, you were at the top. I mean, you were one of the most talented dancers. Had many thought that you should have won when you were standing there. Were you thinking, I might win this thing? I mean, I mean, definitely. I feel like anyone in the competition should come in with the thought, oh, I'm going to win. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the positive mindset you have to have. So, I mean, I definitely, definitely, you know, I, 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 had, a, I had a good feeling. But, you know, things happen. And I want, you know, my young fans to know that it's not always about winning the big trophy and all that, you know, it's not what it's about. The, ma the fact of the matter is, is I learned so much. I gained a big brother out of the experience and, you know. Talk to us about Val because he seems like a great partner and just a good friend. He's awesome and he definitely pushed me in all the right ways and he didn't take it easy on me and I wanted someone who was just like, not just gonna be nice all the time just say, oh, you know, it's good. He definitely pushed me to be better and he saw something in me and he wasn't going to let me just stop it okay, which I think is really awesome. And how do they pick the partners? Do you have I any have say in it? No do, they, do the pros have any say in it? I have no idea, but they did, but they did ask me, um, like, what kind of person did I want? And I was like, mm. I want someone who's not too nice. Give me someone who's tough because I don't like nice people. <laughs> too nice is, is not going to get me anywhere. And he was tough. Oh, yeah. Tough love. What about other contestants. I mean, it was a great cast this year. Who did you bond with the most? I mean, they're all a lot. You're the youngest contestant that's ever been on the show at 16. So who did you bond with the most? Well, obviously Val, 
I'm with him literally every day. So that there was obviously I bonded with him the most. But I mean, other people on the cast, like other celebrities, I think Jacoby for sure. He's become my big brother, and he's you know he's really awesome. He's definitely part of the family now. Um, Victor and I mean honestly, all, especially all the guys. They're all like big bros now, and they're all very protective of me, which is very cool. So I got a lot, lots, lots of big brothers. Are you a guys' girl? Are you a tomboy? I am. I, I mean, I honestly, I'm, I'm definitely would rather be wearing sweatpants all the time. <laughs> but I love fashion, so that's kind of like where I am right in the middle. So you I, love I fashion like, and you love nail art. I want you to show everyone your nails here because they are incredible. If we can do a close up on those, they are amazing. And you Instagram them as well. We can show these. And this is actually a closer <laughs> photo of what your nails look like yeah. right now. But this is what they normally look like. Yes. <laughs> how is that even possible? How do you, how do you even do work with <laughs> How do I manage nails? with those? Um, I actually, you know, I love having long nails. I think it's like, I don't know, it's just very girly to me. And like I'm saying, I'm like a tomboy. So when I have like little girly things that I can do, I want to do them. Um, and so it's just fun. It's like, like constant accessories with you all the time. And then Val was like, look, um, for this number, you're gonna have to cut your nails because I need to be able to spin you properly. And I was like, what? <laughs> you know, like that is major dedication. If I cut my nails for this show, I broke nails for this show. I, 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 I broke people's faces for this show. <laughs> you know, he's a, that was that was a big step. For he me. was probably nervous for himself that you were gonna like scratch him with your nails. I, and ultimately, you hurt him anyway. So you, you would think, but the injury didn't even have anything to do with my nails. <laughs> so Dan three four zero nine says, would you consider participating in an all star season of Dancing with the Stars? Um, I don't know. I think um, by that time, I'll probably be doing some other stuff. I think you know this was a great stepping stone for me, and a, and a great thing or platform for me to get started. But I feel like by that time I'm gonna be on tour somewhere <laughs> because you have an album coming out yes this fall. You have a number of things coming out, but I want to talk about the Disney show. You play Rocky mm -hmm. on Shake It Up. Tell us about your role. Um, I've been on Shake It Up for you know about three years now, and it's um, a buddy comedy built around dance. And it's about two hip hop dancers who dream to become professional dancers on this show called Shake It Up Chicago. So it's like a show within a show. And um, it's just, you know, it's a really fun, upbeat, inspiring show. And I'm very glad that I've been able to be a part of it. And, um, you know, it, it's just, it's been a fun experience. And, you know, my character is very much like myself. She's um, into school and she's a good girl. And she, you know, does her homework and she's always looking out for her friends. So I think that that was a good character to to play and for young people to see as well. And speaking of friends, Bella Thorne, she gave you a lot of support on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. She's a good friend in real life and mm -hmm. also on the show. For sure. I mean, I love Bella. She's my little sister. You know what I'm saying? So right now, she's in Africa shooting a movie, and I'm very proud of her. And I, you know, I've been texting her, and I'm just like, I'm proud of you no matter how far you are. Just know I'm still your big sister. Don't try to grow up while you're away. Don't forget. And so, you know, it's really cool, though. I have a really great support system. But in a way, you're a little sister to so many older Disney stars. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I grew up with Hilary Duff and even a little bit of Miley Cyrus, who, you know, I, I felt like I grew up with and watched them transition mm -hmm. into the world. Do you feel like you'll ultimately go through the same sort of transition once you leave Disney? I think everyone's transition is different. And I'm, you know, I don't know. I'm not really transitioning. I'm just growing up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I think we have a photo of Miley, for example, and she, I mean, she looks like night and day. But you know, she's just finding herself. Yeah, as I everyone think, does. Exactly. And it's all about you know having that support and you know good people around you. And I definitely have that. And I'm just you know I'm a good kid. I don't really have to worry about getting in trouble or whatever. I'm just a good kid, and I'm just trying to spread that goodness to the younger generations. You know what How I'm saying? How do you know when you have a bad egg or someone around you that's not a good influence? Like, what are the red flags? Um, I mean, it's, I mean, to me, it's usually pretty obvious. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty perceptive. I can pick it <laughs> I up. I can tell that you are. And even if I don't, you know, I, that's what I have parents for, you know. I have a very great support system and very, we're very tight. So we can always, we can always tell and, you know, figure it out that way. Well, and your parents travel around with you as well. They seem like your biggest supporters. Of course. I mean, parents how important is it to have that, that base? I think it's extremely important, you know. I, um, I think you need that. And nobody can do everything on their own, and especially not a 16-year-old. And I, you know, most 16-year-olds, this is our rebellious age. This is the time where we get kind of crazy or think we know everything. And I'm not that way. I feel like I have a lot to learn. Is there a Disney star you look up to? 
Um, that has already, that has made the transition? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think they're all amazing in their own way, and they've all done their own thing, and I think that that's very um, inspiring, that, you know, you're young, and you're still living your dreams, and I think that's the most beautiful thing. I really love Raven Simone. She's one of my favorites, and I think... She's someone I grew up with. She's, she's I, I love that, so Raven. Like, that's like, <laughs> I've seen every single episode. And um, when I first met her, she was so sweet to me, and we had dinner, and, you know, I really got to talk to her, and she's a very genuine person. So And ultimately, you'll be doing that with, with future Disney stars. We have a, a video question, though. This is from Evan Selinger about being a dad. Let's take a listen. Hi, Zendaya. Uh, my six-year-old daughter, Rory, is a huge fan, and she was devastated when you didn't win Dancing with the Stars. In fact, she started crying, and it was hard to even get her to school the next day. So I wanted to tell you this because she hopes you weren't upset, and she and all of her friends think you're awesome. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I definitely knew that, that might happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was worried. That was the only thing I was worried about was, you know, letting the little ones down. But I think, it, you know, it was a good lesson also. You know, I think sometimes it comes in disguises. And it's just to show that I'm, I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? I want my fans to know that I'm absolutely fine. I worked really hard. I got very far. And it's more than just winning a mirror ball. Like I was saying before, it's more than that. I've learned so much. And you take that and you build and you move on and you grow. And um, but that's not, what not I want everyone can know. live under that pressure. I mean, you have such a responsibility, not only for 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 younger kids and, and teenagers. My sisters are, are huge fans, but even parents who rely on you to be a role model for their own kids. I think, you know, like I was saying, I'm a good kid. <laughs> I, I really I'm just I'm just a good kid and I don't have any intention of I'm just not a negative person and I don't get easily pull into negative things. I'm just a good kid and I just want Really, just to not be a role model, because I think that that adds pressure, but I want to be a positive influence, per se. You know what I mean? Something that younger kids can look up to and be like, you know, she's, she's close to my age. She's still doing what she loves to do, and she's enjoying it, but she has a good head on her shoulders. She's a normal kid, and she has good parents, and she's, you know, that's what I want people to see. So your, your biggest tip is to just be yourself. When you wake up in the morning, just be me. Just be exactly Everything else will work itself out. Exactly. And DFTS, which is my slogan, don't forget to smile. Well, and you've already, I love that, by the Thank way. Thank you. Don't forget to smile, which you always do. You have a beautiful smile. But you've done so much already in your life at 16. And you have an album coming up. You have a book for teens. Tell us about it. Um, well, I wrote a, a tween advice book. Um, and it's called Be Tween. You and me. You get what I did there with the tween? <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, but no, I think I wanted to create something that wasn't just like, you pick it up and you put it down. You know, I want it to be something helpful and useful. And I feel like sometimes, you know, it's not easy for tweens. I think we kind of don't get enough credit because we're like not old enough to be a teenager, not young enough to be a kid, and you're kind of in that So awkward. my little sister just turned 14 last week, and she's very much in that stage. Yes. Of she's wanting to be an adult, but she's still... A kid. Figuring herself out. Yeah. So this is a book she could put in her, her purse when she Ex goes out of it. Exactly. It's like, it's just to help you out with little, it can be little things and it can be big things. And I feel like sometimes parents kind of forget what it's like to be 12 or 13 or 14, you know. And, and so I wanted to get it from a fresh perspective, someone who literally just went through it. And it was pretty smooth for me. So, uh, you know, sharing my little, my little insight. What is your biggest piece of advice for the tweens? My biggest piece of advice is honestly don't forget to smile because... Um, smiling, like even just the action of smiling can automatically change your mood. You know, just smiling alone just makes you feel better. And um, I just, I feel like it kind of has created a support system for people. You know what I'm saying? Just seeing that or wherever, you just know that, you know, you're supposed to smile and people are smiling out there for you. So, Do you have a hero? Do you have someone that you look to in life that you aspire to be like? Well, of course, my parents. That's, you know, number one, obviously. But when it comes, like, career-wise, I mean, I love the greats, you know, Michael Jackson. And I'm a big fan of Beyonce because I feel like, you know, she's true, true talent. You have a little bit of Beyonce in you. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. And a lot of J-Lo. Oh. Huh. I like that, too. I don't mind so, that one So either. you do it all. You act, you sing, you dance, you like to write, I hear. Mm -hmm. And you have a, the book, obviously. Is there one of them that is your favorite or something that you would like to do 
Um, I think I want to do it all. It's just when, you know, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So right now I'm definitely focusing on music. That's my next big thing. So, um, you know, my first s single comes out in July and I'm excited about that. And then the album in the fall. So I'm really, that's really what I'm looking forward to. Do you and worry about having to sex it up? Because I feel like that's a challenge for a I lot mean, of no, I Disney don't. stars. I don't. And you're so beautiful and you have just a killer body. Thank and I'm you. sure there's so much pressure to say, you know what, just loosen, you know, Absolutely the shirt a little not. bit. That, I mean, and that's something I really wanted to make sure people saw on Dancing with the Stars because that <laughs> is a very, you know, you show a lot of, you, they show a lot of skin on that show. And I was like, I'm not getting a spray tan. Oh, you I, didn't go with the spray tan. No. I was like, I'm good with my natural color. I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm mixed. I got a little and color. And you're lucky because you have some color. Exactly. <laughs> so, I, I, you know, I can get some natural sun. And then I was like, you know, I wanted to make sure that all my outfits were appropriate. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I'm saying, there's young girls watching me. And I want to make sure that they see that you can be beautiful without having to show everything. Well, you're doing a phenomenal job, and we have so many comments coming through. I want to get to some of them. <laughs> Bela Forever says, since you love fashion so much, would you want to create your own line someday? Of course. I think, you know, fashion is a great thing. I think it's a way to um, express who you are. You know what I'm saying? I feel like sometimes it's taken too seriously, though. I feel like it's really about dressing for yourself and what makes you feel beautiful. And so... I mean, I think that that's a big part of it. You know, I'm one of those people that I sometimes like to dress super girly because I feel girly that day and I want to feel that kind of, you know, But even these shoes, I mean, these are rocking. These are like so feminine and, and classy, <laughs> but yet they're like tennis shoes. Exactly. I think it's like a mixture of my style. And I have an amazing stylist, Law, who he, he understands my brain and he knows about like my personal style. And he knows that I don't want to just wear what everyone else is wearing. I don't just want to you know, blend in and be normal. I want to be fun and, you know, try different things. And I think is that that's the challenge you think for so many young stars is they let other people tell them how they should be or how they should look, how they should act? Of course. I think that that's just a general problem with people in general. You know, it's not even just with, you know, the industry. I just think it's everybody listens to what everybody else tells them what to do. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, there's times where you should listen, but I feel like our, our, our own opinions of ourself is what really, really matters. No, that's absolutely right. So Mosquito Girl says, are there any new episodes for Shake It Up? Because London is excited for tomorrow's series. Oh, um, I mean, yeah, there's definitely some new episodes of Shake It Up. And um, uh, we wrapped season three. So um, I'm very excited about, you know, the upcoming episodes. It's really fun. And um, Is there a new season? We don't know. We don't mm. know yet. So, but right now, you know, I'm really... Do you want to have another season? I don't mind. I think right now I'm more focused on so many other things that if it did happen, I'd be cool. If it didn't, I'd be cool. But, I mean, I love doing it. It's really a and it's great one experience. of those things you know isn't forever. Exactly. You know, it, nothing, nothing lasts forever, and that's why you have to continue to invent yourself and do new things. So I'm okay. And you're doing exactly that. I have to end with this comment because this mom is so excited that you're here. And she's so sad because her daughter, so many kids are in school right now and they want to be watching this. She says, bummer, my daughter tries to mimic her dance moves all the time. She would love to be able to ask her a question. Her name is Kennedy. And she asks me all the time, does Zendaya really live in Chicago? I tell her no, but she refuses to believe me. So on her behalf, continues, could you please ask Zendaya where she is from and where she currently resides? Mm -hmm. She also asks me all the time how tall she is. My daughter is very tall for her age and a bit self-conscious so knowing as uh, Zendaya is also tall might help her feel a little bit better okay so I am actually you know we shoot this show in Los Angeles um, in a studio so we're not actually in Chicago it's just pretend <laughs> but um, I am born and raised in Oakland and I moved out to LA for my show so there's that and then um, I am 5'10 my mom is 6'4 and my dad is 6'2 you know what I'm tall too let's stand up because I'm tall too and this will give every every girl that's self-conscious about their height that we are both very tall <laughs> exactly. girls. And you can still make it in this world yes. being tall. Tall girls are awesome. And I feel like it's really important to be comfortable in your own skin. And I feel like, you know, that was that was also a struggle for me and dancing with the stars. Like, I had to be taller than my partner, which it doesn't, it's very tough to dance that way. And that was overcame. I have girls that come up to me all the time like, oh, I don't like to wear heels because I'm too tall. I'm like, okay, look, if you're tall, here's my theory. Listen, if you're tall, people are going to comment on you being tall or not. So what is a couple inches going to do? 
No, I, don't, I think you should rock it. So wear heels. They're going to say something either way. Wear heels. Wear I whatever totally you agree. want. Zendaya, you are just a blast. I wish you could hang with me all day on this couch. I'd love I just to. love you. <laughs> and you're such a good role model to so many kids growing up. So I thank you for that because thank I have two little you. sisters and that means the world to me of too. Uh, and I, I hope that you tweet this out. For all the teens that missed it, they can watch when they get home from school today. But thanks good. so much for being here. And good thank luck with everything me. coming up. You've got a <laughs> great future ahead. Thanks. We've got more coming up here at HuffPost Live. And, and make sure you can buy Zendaya's book. It's Between You and Me, tween, tween, right? It's out August, and you can watch her on Shake It Up Sundays on the Disney Channel. Keep watching HuffPost Live.